Ball one again versus Damian Redman. Races to nine. Damian gets one game on the wire against Mr. Rusty Bo Runnigan, but <laughs> we're gonna see what's up. I really like um, Damian's game. He, he has a good solid game and we all know Mr. Runnigan. That's me getting my cough drops ready. All right, we got action. Kurt, you want to sit in? That. Oh, okay, it's all good. I was gonna have my man Curtis Park sit in. It's all good. So you guys are stuck with me. <laughs> all day, baby. Runnigan has won uh, the lag, so he's going to get the break. And uh, if these guys are awake, it should be a very interesting match. Uh, Damian Redman was playing super solid yesterday. By Bo. He has a he has a shot on the one, but um, I don't know if he's going to take it on. If he does, he's going to have to navigate quite a bit of terrain here. So in here. <coughs> Leaked out. Damon's going to look to play safety here too. Thinking about banking the one down table. If he banks it down towards the nine ball, he can put the cue ball behind the seven. It's kind of a two-way shot because if it, it doesn't get there, there's a ton of balls in the way. Well, Runnigan has a wide open look at the one ball and a good start. Looking to go in the side pocket here to play the three in the corner. This part of the game right here, this is just staying in line, making sure you keep your angles nice and small on this tight table because this uh, this table will get you. <laughs> exactly. <coughs> 
one rail shape here for Mr. Runnigan. I think he wanted a little more so he could just slide over and pocket the five. I think he got a little straight on the four. More than he wanted to probably, but he's a good player. Yeah, see, he ended up coming short. Huh? You know, you don't want to duck here, but you might have to. So this looks like two rails safe on the five. Short rail, long rail, short rail. Unless he's deciding to take this shot on, spin this, spin this ball in and go up and down. That was a good shot, but <laughs> the reward is shoot another hard shot. Uh, roll up he can pot that ball in the side if he can't then he can he can bank the seven does get out here this is a good um, you know confidence builder because he not really in line here he's putting himself putting a lot of pressure on himself to have to keep coming with the shot on this uh, very difficult table here That's just pure firepower right there. <laughs> he just let it out on that shot. That's a that's a good shot. I think on this shot right here, if he decides to to baby it, he might put himself in trouble. I think you let it all out. let that stroke out That's a good uh, run by Bo Run again. A little, you know, not his usual stellar play, but that's a good way to get out. You know, he fight tooth and nail to get out, and he did. You're watching the Mass West State Tour. Hard times, Bellflower, California. Bo Runnigan versus Damian Redman. If you're not familiar with Mr. Redman, get familiar because this guy he has a, a nice game. And he whacks them too. So we're going to see what happens here. Damian Redman um, is from Santa Barbara down Ventura Way. Plays at Sticks. And he has a nice game. Mmm. 
He might have left the Tom Cruise here for Bo. Not really anything uh, super challenging. Once again, a test to stay in line. That's it. So Bo's gonna play this one in the side to drift down the end rail to play the three four right there. He just needs a good angle on that four to slide back up to the five. You don't want to get lazy here. You want to make sure you, this is the key right here. Four to the five because <laughs> All the other balls are just sitting right in front of the hole. You want to avoid bumping into the nine here. Tentative shot by Bo, but still a good shot. Pop this in the side, and he should be off to the races here. This should be it. Sometimes when you uh, take a long layoff from pool and, and you come back, sometimes, you know, you get a little, uh, you play a little more uh, careful. And uh, maybe that's good for Bo because right now he gets to, uh, you know, he's get to concentrate, make sure that he does what he needs to do. back and forth here on Mr. Run again signaling for the ball to slow down so he has a choice here I mean he can go in, in the side but you you want angle so you can just roll roll up on a 10 you don't want to have to do nothing too fancy that's about as good as it gets don't want to get stuck on a rail maybe you just put a little juice here and float out the if you're going to play it there you just don't want to lay up and leave yourself on the rail What's up, Jane Chalks? Good morning, good morning. Jane Chalks in the house. I just wanted to listen to the excellent commentary <laughs> on these matches well, this morning. Well, then you better tune into somewhere else because there ain't no excellent <laughs> on. <laughs> you better tune into somebody else. This is not but jokes and games. Damien says, okay, I've seen enough, and it um, says, all right, for both. I'd like to thank our official cloth sponsor of the Mass USA Tour, Andy Billiard Cloth. Check them out at andybilliardcloth.com. Damian Redman versus Bo Runnigan in the early match. Runnigan leads two to one with some good play. Damian a little unlucky on that that last game. He broke well and he left the Cosmo out and he scratched. Like my friend would say, you gotta take care of Yul Brenner. <laughs> That's right. Gotta keep Whitey on the string. Bo's doing a derivative of some type of cut break here. Playing the end ball back up table for shape. So we'll see what happens here. Nice little pop on that one. <coughs> Here we go. Bo ever tell you why he's wearing that pink glove? Why he chose pink? So he can remember to keep it which hand is his bridge hand. <laughs> 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 well he figures if he loses it, somebody will give it back to him because nobody won't want that glove. He's easy to pick out in a crowd though. Absolutely. You watch him even in the background <laughs> of a video and you know exactly who's shooting. That's right, the pink panther. <laughs> <laughs> he owns it, no doubt. Ooh, that's a tough leave on the one. What would you do here? I'm ducking. Just go to the inside and go two rails down there towards the 810. 
You just want you don't want to give any unnecessary chances away. <coughs> If he hits it really thin, he can get him down there behind the five. Maybe you have to hit this ball really, really good. There it is. You just don't want to sell out in front of that pocket. There you go. Well, he left trouble. So do you jump it? Yeah. A straightforward jump. And going to the air here. Running in with a good hit right here, and shapes it up pretty good. Like I said, sometimes you know you you stop playing for a little bit, and uh, the, the rest is there, but your fundamentals back you up, and sometimes you play better. Right now, both playing uh, solid. This is probably like I think it's like three balls below his regular gear, but um, he's playing solid right now, so that's all that counts. Three balls and he's amazing just like this. That's that's just awesome. Yeah, he's he's off he's off his gear. But the thing that he's doing good is he's he's grinding good, you know. Well that's just it, right? Even when you're not playing your best, you gotta mm -hmm. stay in it. Yeah, he's he's grinding good and see just like the right there, checking his checking his stroke because he knows, you know, it's it's that not shouldn't go that way. Yeah, he knows. He knows. And if he's in speed if he's in speed if he's on you know, on his game and on his stuff, he'll he'll be right. You know? So right now Damon would not a good look here. If I'm Damon I might play the the ten ball. Does he hit the nine? Uh, he might be able to squirt right through there. That's how you do it. You just come in, boss me around. I whispered. I didn't boss you around. God, why you put me on blast? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Are you still in? <laughs> Ooh, did she go there? <laughs> jokes, and, jokes and games. Oh, we got neither one of them. Didn't get yeah. the two, didn't get the yeah. ten. But he's covered himself. I look for a cross bank here by Bo. Really, that combo is awfully straight, no? I don't know. I, well, I, don't, I don't know. You don't like it? I don't like it, but he might like it. You know what That's I mean? That's a good safe right yeah, there. Yeah, you cross Lots it because it's, it's, it's better. But he's going to be in jail right now. Redmond banks the two up there, puts him behind a 510. Or puts the two over there, cuts the two over there and comes around. He slide the two under though? He can he can shoot the two like he's going in the corner and, and with the right speed. He can protect himself. Slides right under. Mm -hmm. That's a good shot. Damien looking at a possible Carom 510 or he'll no he'll probably. I don't just think play so. I five. think he'll just run it out. He'll play the he'll play the five. You know, if it's me, I'd probably take the carom. But <laughs> I think he'll just run it out. It's it's not a hard board. Till he got there. Let's see. Well, that, no, he has a good joke. He can he can get there. If he doesn't like the five eight, he 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 rips rip draws this, slides up the rail, and plays the six in his side. That's a lot of stroke. Well, you see, you see the line where he's going right there. That's what he's looking at. If he just comes in that line, he could be all right. 
For him, he has he has this stroke. This guy makes balls, you know what I mean? No doubt. He, he, he makes balls, so he's a shooter. He's looking to get out. Here it is. Booyah. Right past that seven. Don't tickle it. Come on, pass it. Uh, I don't know if he got there. No, he didn't get there. I think he has, well, he might have uh, the chinny chin chin of it. That's tough. Maybe that 510 kilo would have been better. I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Damien, it looked like they, these duck in here. I think it's. That's probably a of, smart move. Kind of a Z duck. I don't know. Z duck puts the cue ball on the back rail. Yeah, he's he's. The, yeah, see, so this this bank that he's shooting, it's it's built in. If he doesn't get there, what, what? Is he banking or? He kicking? might be kicking. No, he's kicking. The thing about this, uh, speed is crucial here. You hit it too soft, it gives him a oh, 10 ball. Oh, look at that, look at that. No, oh, see, you hit it too soft, it. you give him a 10 ball. You hit it too hard, you give him a So now... Now he's straight, maybe he should have ducked. Yeah, it was tough. These guys, you know, he's a, he's a shooter. He's not trying to just give Bo, you know, more opportunities to try to outmove him. And it's, that pocket is tight. Oh, yeah. To me, right here, I think you just... If he had a little more, you might just slide over him. You just a little draw, though. And and put the cue ball behind the nine. Yep. And, you know, just try to duck it up a little bit. Oh, hit it hard. Nice. He got a little funny on that seven. Yeah, yeah. No, that, he got a lot of funny on the seven. Well, and that that's your, you know, he is he's a little bit out of stroke. No, he's a lot of bit out of stroke, but he's fundamentals will carry him through. Now, if he really doesn't like this, he would... Park him on that eight ball, like that. Well, that's pretty good. You see what I'm saying? But when he's in stroke, he hits that with a little draw, and it goes top rail, and then comes down towards the eight. That shot right there is like a container. He wants to just keep Damien on his toes, you yeah. know. Oh, Damien's gonna jump. We're going jumping. I think it's yep. That's a jump cue. Yeah. It's coming out. <laughs> he says, I got to go airborne. The only thing that I don't like about it is that he's exposing himself. If he's going straight to the corner, I, like we'll see where he's going. You know, this is a go for it shot, though. Either you go for it and you make it and you're out, or it's over. There's not a lot of safe here. There's always safe. I can't argue that. Yeah, it's always, <laughs> it's always safe. I, or even not safe, it's control. You know what I mean? Like, you just don't want to... Nah, you know, this is okay. But he, once again, back to the eight ball. Or Bo just cuts this in. I think Bo just cuts this in, comes in. around yeah. two rails for the eight. Sometimes it, sometimes when you look from here... Like Ryan doesn't come go past the ten, though. He's got to get That's okay. Back he, up. he got the side pocket. All right. Yeah. Yeah, that's exactly what he's looking at. Uh -huh. It's like you know, Ra. Well, I've watched enough. <laughs> I've watched enough to uh, <laughs> to guess well. And see, he does. It. He's looking at it like, man, I need to be here so I can get back on that nine ball. And um, for those who don't know, Bo Run again, I'm tell you something right now. He is a super student of the game. Super student. And he's, he's a great player. When he needs to be, he's a great player. You better there believe that. That's beautiful. Now he's so got to get Jane, back there. Yeah, you see? But see, this is this is right in his wheelhouse. This is this is nothing for him. He has the, he has that big, nice, fluid stroke. Nice draw stroke all the way back? Oh, man, he just rips this ball. If he stays still, he rips it. There it is. Yeah, you Look see? That. You see what I mean, oh, Dennis? Look at that. Gosh, what a nice shot. <laughs> I told you. Wow. There's, there's, there's no, no effort. That's why Bo's super scary, man. There was no scratch in that. There, was, no, there, there wasn't even a thought about yeah, it. Yeah, he takes all that out the game. He's not going to um, do something that's going to jeopardize it. So. And he, you know, usually done the robot. And Damien said, okay, I've seen enough. You know, I was talking to some folks yesterday, and they're like, you should never, never give up the 10 ball, no matter who you're playing. You don't know, something could happen. I don't know if that's true. At this level, that thing sitting in the pocket, give it up. Depends on 
who you're playing, your demeanor and whatever, but I make my opponent shoot him. <laughs> That's right. All right, we'd like to thank our sponsor, Aramis Balls and Simone's Cloth. That's the way we roll. You're watching the Mez West State Tour, Damian Redmond versus Bo Runnigan. I'm in the booth joined by Jane Chalks. Follow her on Instagram and where else, Jake? Uh, I actually have a website, www.janechalks.com uh, or Facebook. All right, there it is. Okay, so right now, a good what break a by nice Damian. Break. <laughs> and there you go. This is the kind of break Damian, that, gets you, that gets you right back in the game. It's not a Joey Chin break, but it's not that. Well, um, Damien has that. He has that joint chin power. When he's breaking, like right now, he's he's tentative on the break. He's not hammering him the way he used to, but why hammer him if you can get that, right? That was good. He's solid. Yeah, for sure. Beautiful. Seeing that that's this is the what time is it 11 o'clock stroke because uh Damien, like at uh one two three o'clock, he's drilling these these shots. Bo's looking at how to shape up this six ball. Because he knows that's the only ball that's stopping him. How these guys think two, three, four, five shots ahead, and you know you're you're on the one, but you're not looking at the one. You're looking at the seven. That's one of those high-level pool skills that a lot of the amateurs work to very hard to develop to be I, able to see it and have that vision to get there. I think the problem if the if you just play the what I call the triangle offense, always triangulating with those three balls, you will get out. Right now he's shooting a three for the six. He's shooting a three to get position on the five to make the six. So once he shoots that three ball, and then he's gonna shoot the five, then he's shooting for the seven. And that's how you continuously are gonna get out here. All right, so where is he getting for the six? Is he coming all the way back down table to get behind it near the eight so that he can shoot it up? If he's diagramming where he's shooting right now, he's gonna rip this four rails and come around. Four rails, wow. That's what he looks like he's doing. Unless he's not, I don't know. Bo's, he's got a, his, his billiard computer is uh, pretty impressive. One, two, two three. Three, does he get four. there? Four. four. Almost four. You know but I mean? enough so that he's behind it, he's got open pockets to shoot at. And that's it. But it's like what you said, you know, you need, you need early in the day, you want to stay in line so you don't have to use up your super brain power on uh, making those extra hard shots so then later in the day, you know, you're, you're fueled up. Yeah, and no doubt if you can, you know, solve problems early. Early. You oh, see? You see? he knew that was the problem. Yeah, that's Rostolium right there. Yeah. And uh, Damon has a spin shot here. Yeah, Damien. Damien's got a nice spin shot. He's, there's a good chance he's out. Well, you know, in the different levels of pool, your vision expands as you learn learn to play better and better. And you know, it gets beyond just make the shot, just make one shot. Now yeah. you're trying to, you know, you're trying to see the nine ball off the one ball. It's crazy. Tough shot on this table. Yep. Tough shot on this table. This table is no. Nobody's gimme, and uh, you know, so the problem right now, the obvious problem is like, you know, both giving Damien chances, and, and Damien haven't been able to convert those chances yet. I mean, and I know this guy's game is early, you know, everybody's, you know, pool IQ is not up yet. <laughs> day pool, it's day pool. Yeah, 
There is no not such pretty thing. for anybody. Yeah, <laughs> gay pool is no such thing. But you got to start these tournaments earlier. They will not end. No, you see, and that's oh, another that. mistake by Bo. That's Rustolium. Now, if if it doesn't go and he doesn't like it, look for Damien to be under the ten ball. If, he, if Bo looks, okay. if Bo looks the other the other way, he thin off the seven and put him right under the ten. I don't think there's much to like here. Well, the good thing about it, Jane, is that it's close, and the, the, the seven will have minimal movement, and you can create distance. That little fin off it, right? Yeah. Bam. Yep, he barely touched it. Look at him go down there. And he get under down. the 10. It was on the rail. On the rail is always a tough spot to be. On the rail and behind the 10 is even better. Well, he's in choice. After this match, we'll okay. switch him out. Okay. They start with this match, they finish with this match. Yeah, that's true. Is he masseying around then? That's, it, it, either way, either way is going to be tough because if he does masse off it and, and clip the 10, 7, and clips the seven, that cue ball is going to be loose and the seven is going to be heading back down table, leaving Bo a wide open opportunity here, which you don't want to do. No, you don't. You don't want to give Bo a chance. Even if he's rusty, he'll take you out. See? Yeah. Rough, yeah. rough. Yeah. And now he's scratching. You put the balls in tic tac so. Nothing's easy on this yeah. table, so oh. even if it looks like it's all there, yeah. I anything think he, could happen. I think he just goes one rail and plays it in the side unless he wants to go all the way around and play it in the Look corner. Look at all the way around. Mm -hmm. Here it goes in the corner. <laughs> that's because, that's because if he was on, he hits that ball with inside and just pops the 10 in the side. Yeah, but you know, if I've got a choice between the corner and the side, I'm choosing the corner every time. The corner And he's nice and straight and in line. Yeah, yeah. I mean, but, that's a thing of beauty right, right. there to go two rails and get perfectly in that line. No, this is true, but when these guys are, when their gears are clicking, less movement is better. They yeah, don't, but Bo knows right now that he's not completely exactly. in Exactly, and, and that's a good thing. You have and to when you can recognize that early and play safer shots for you, and you're not right. trying to hit a side shot or something that's going to take a little spin or a little more difficult, then, right. you know, that'll win you some games. You know, know when to duck, know when to play your safeties and dial it down a little bit. Yeah, exactly right. As my good friend Brian Elwell said, put the cape away. <laughs> and sometimes you got to do it. It'll win you more games. Exactly. Nice bow big break. Look for the cue ball to just jump back. A little bit of reverse to kill. A little reverse kill. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. That's it. <laughs> Look at, oh, and the 10 almost went. Nice open spread. It's a good break. Now, now when you can get that cue ball to just stop right there in the right. middle of the table, so you have a shot no matter where that first ball is. You're good. That's a nice break right there. This could be a quick game. If that five ball wasn't there, he goes up and, up and down. He shoots a 210. Now, he might try to juice this ball in with inside. He's looking at the two rails coming back. Doesn't want to clip the three. And here comes a good shot for Mr. Runnigan.
Oh, don't, don't get there. Don't it's get going. there. And there's the 210 for <laughs> uh, Let's see. You see? And that's what happens. There's no shame in that. Well, of course you not. Take that and run off. It's called win. <laughs> Fly the W. Damon Redden takes one back, and now is Damon's break. What's the score, Ron? His score is 4-2, to two, Mr. Runnigan. I'd like to thank our sponsor, Fast and Loose. Check him out at fastandloosedesigns.com. Yeah. All right. All right. James Thanks, Charles is out the building. The other H, the double H. Mr. Harris, what's good, James? What's happening? Chilling, chilling. Morning, everybody. Morning, morning. Yeah, it is. So we got action. You know what? I'm gonna step in here right away because I'm gonna stand over here for a little while watching the table. Mm -hmm. John Schmidt is getting drilled. Sin is, is that how you say his name? Zena. Zena is playing lights out right now. I, I told you that dude can play. The score is 8-2, and he's pretty much out right here, so the set's over. Zena Velazade playing really good. Snooker champ, man. You got skills, bro. He's a super seven for sure. Super seven. <laughs> right? I can tell you right now, maybe not consistently, he's playing as good as Damon Redman right now. And Damon's an eight. Yep, I believe that. And ABC, yeah. And that's all she wrote. John Smith's in the one loss side now. John Schmidt on the one loss side, Zena Velocide. He's on the undefeated side. Puts the heat rocks on him. He played good in San Diego, too. All right, Cam Johnson, first March to table three, please. Nope. Damien Redman, <laughs> Redman still has the 1030 stroke. <laughs> the 1030 stroke? Yeah, he's on the 1030 side. Yeah, you know, it's good to see because we watched one of those early matches yesterday. Yeah. He was struggling really yeah. bad and yeah. to see him still on the other side. Yeah. And we, you know. That means he found his stroke throughout we, the day. We know, we know Bo's game and he knows his own game and he knows it's not there. But the thing that he's doing good right now, he's compartmentalizing. Right. He's, saying, he's not shooting those low yeah, percentage shots. Yeah. <laughs> the ones that the ones he would have shot before. Yeah, he just the man. Yep. Yeah. 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 Sold off the one, but two's tough to get to. Looks like a stroke of Drake back. 9 2. Mm -hmm. That's running right. right. There you go. All right, but running it. <coughs> this little kill stroke on that ball. James, it's, it's, it's counting down the derby. I'm, I'm excited. Are you? Yeah. Are you? I can't tell. Yeah. It's going to be excellent. Where'd you steal the team jersey from? I saw it. I see the name. I have Rocket too. They're my buddies. Bo continues to keep Damon at bay yeah, here and yeah, not just, letting him get any loose or get any shots. Yeah.
It was nice to see that even a, a pro caliber player have a mental breakdown. It's not just me. Right. Because the, the, he spent more time in the chair complaining about the two game spot than actually focusing on erasing the two game spot. Maybe he rolls down and frees him on top of the six here, James. Yeah, because he's uh, always only got Damon on one right now. I mean, he, I don't, I don't think he's looking for the three foul, but I think he's gonna look to play safe and bump the six ten to get separation, so he has the, the run out after yeah, the six. Changes, I, I, I agree with you. I don't think he's looking for the three foul. Yeah, but yeah, again, he changes his mind. See, I don't really like using the three to break that out because you gotta, yeah, he's gotta pump it. You know what? And you get know a roll, what? Like, 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 um, Buddy Hall says, don't play position when you got position. You got position to lock them up or break it up, or whatever you do, right, right now. Super simple, nothing hard. And you yeah, see, he's gonna, he's playing that position to break, to go to the rail and spin into the six ten. But like I said, I don't like that because if you hit it full, you're gonna be underneath the four. He didn't get there. Right. Maybe he's seen something he liked. No, he pointed to the other side of the eight ball. He was trying to get out of their three to break out the 610. Right. But then that was a poorly struck ball. But it was made ball. Okay. <laughs> so the making part is good. The shape part. Then I guess if you're a shop maker, the shape part, who gives a crap? Yeah, like, yeah, like, <laughs> like, yeah, right? <laughs> well, I don't care. <laughs> I'm going to say a little, uh, I'm just going to put this out there. Um, we might be looking at putting Bo in contention to get on the Moscone Cup this year. He needs to go play the events, get the you points. You know what I mean? So we might be bringing up Team OTW Renegade. If you agree, <laughs> send your donations. <laughs> All right. Ball run again. He's, he's gonna have to get some nice shape on his five. So Actually, what's the if he plan? gets under the five, he can slide over. But he got straight on the five. Now he's in trouble. <laughs> Excuse me. Now he's in big trouble. Well, he, he can draw play. this back a little bit and play the safety yeah. on the six. Yeah. But I really don't see him force following or trying to get yeah, after that six. Yeah, but I'm saying down. you had a good opportunity to play this safe that you're fighting to try to get now and all this. I don't like it. He had a good opportunity, ball in hand, he could just froze him and, and put the Q on a six or broke to six ten or whatever he wanted to do. Now you gotta freeze him on a seven. And I like this from him. I like this game. You know what? It's not a B stealth bomber, right. super you know, but it's tactical and smart. Right. Value your possessions. That um six ten isn't lined up to the pocket right now. It's not. It is not. Okay. Yep. I agree. Yeah, I agree. I agree. Lock him up. Wow. He is on two now. Yes, he is. And you know me. I'm looking to put arrows in the Indians. <laughs> I'm, looking, I'm looking to make it, man. If I can't get out. Hey, how about thin off the five and put him under the 610? That's what it is. Yeah. Right? But see this third foul. You got to lock it up. You yeah. don't want to give him a... a what is Bo doing? Bo's going right after that. He's going to come to where he's going right? high right. right? High left. High, high left. left. High left. And you spin city looking to break it up. He said the hell with his three foul. I'm breaking up his hand. <laughs> oh, no, man. What I'm saying, though, he has ball in hand right now, right? Right. Can you just thin the side of the yeah, five, put oh, yeah. five by seven, put him under six ten, right? A couple different safeties. Yeah, so, you know, that's what I'm talking about. You shoot the five all the way up the table, push the cue ball behind the seven? Yep. Looks like Omar Vasani just defeated. Uh, need to get there. Oh, he did. Yep. I couldn't see him standing in the way. <laughs> but did he get enough to cut the six in the side? I can't tell on camera or on table. Yep, you 
all you guys. You guys got action. Come down to California. <laughs> I'll put my man in here and you can get it in the box and see how you like it. pocket on that one. Lee Brett is a one-stroke mofo. You ever seen him shoot? Yeah. I got Bo running it up 5 to 2 against David Redmond, Winterside match in sunny Bellflower, California. Thank you, my brother. I'm waiting. Translation button. Oh, cool. <laughs> <laughs> Back to Moose Designs. Check them out at FastMooseDesigns.com. These guys live in Streamland, Dreamland. <laughs> <laughs> Exactly. Exactly. I don't. See, I don't see nobody uh, posting up. Cause we'll go take that game. <laughs> Whenever and wherever. Yeah. I said something the other day in conversation with Mr. Parks and Lee Brett and all mm -hmm. of us, and uh, I'm going to run this by you and yeah. the stream. Right. I think, this is obviously personal opinion, but I think the Moscone Cup should be 10-ball. Moscone Cup should be 10-ball. Call pocket, take away the wing ball going in on the break. Yeah. Rack it normal again, play 10-ball. Just call pocket. These guys at this level, representing countries and stuff like, shouldn't be able to slot something in and, and, and continue to shoot. Agree or disagree? I agree. I just want to know who spots my man in rotation from the United States besides Shane. I'm waiting for Are that. you going to get off this up? No. I want to see who they say spots Bo in rotation. All right, folks, you heard it. Ryan ain't going to get off this. No, I'm not. You guys I want to hear this. To the chatter out there, it says who can spot <laughs> yeah. Bow in rotation. Yeah. From the United States. What United States player? Besides Shane. Besides Shane, spots Bow in rotation. Because I'm ready to take that bet. Yeah, maybe that. <laughs> in full gear, though? I'm surprised that hasn't come yeah. out already. <laughs> Full gear. 
Well, while we're talking here, Mo mm-hmm. brutalized the four ball on the side of pocket, <laughs> but he locked up a safety. Because uh, he don't want to play on a Moscone Cup, so he's going to be. Yeah, yeah, he kind of hit it. Uh, yeah. Actually, he did me. I tried to fireball yesterday for no reason, and that's what he tried, tried to do the same thing. He tried to fire it for no reason. Right, right. All right, Mr. Running in. <laughs> Good two railer back here to the six, James. Oh, yeah. Just coming tight to the corner pocket. Mm-hmm. Two rails back to the six. Well, longer than I thought, but still a great shot. Right, still good, right? Yeah. Now this little one rail flotation device, and we're good. I'm not gonna get everyone. Uh, <laughs> Way ahead of you. <laughs> we are live at Bellflower, California. Med stop number. Mm-hmm. What are we on here? Fourteen. Anyways, Med stop, Bellflower, California, <laughs> live in the booth. Hey, Mr. Mr. Raw Hannah. That's how we do it. So that's one, two, three players, right? Three. How many players on the Moscone team? Five. All right, then. <laughs> Jason's not American. Exactly. All right. All right, we have 6-2 action go. here. Mr. non Moscone Cub, <laughs> Bo <Bo-Rodian>. Runnigan. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Bo. I'm drumming up action for you. I'm trying to see who's going to give you weight and rotation in the United States. <laughs> I want to see this. We have three names. Rocket, Shaw, and Bergman. Yeah, that's what I said. In rotation. <laughs> Y'all got action, buddies. <laughs> We just got confirmation. Bo says he's down. Bring anybody you got. Exactly. He said, "Give him what? Give him what?" <laughs> All good. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. Yep. So that's four. That's only four. So we still got a spot, huh? If that's four people who can spot Bo running in rotation, then. We still got a spot. That's five. No, technically we still have two spots. Yeah, because Jason, Jason don't count. Not, don't count. That's he's right. American. That's right. He plays for Britain, so he's on Team Europe. He's caliber. Team Europe. You can't bring Jason Shaw into it. He's on yep. Team Europe. <clears throat> so my, my point is, I'm being facetious here, but my point is that there's not a lot of people in the United States that can spot this boy in rotation. He, ooh. I was thinking we were going to get a Parks Oscar match after this one. Oh, that looks like they're playing on table two. Oh, I would love to see him. All right, Mr. Redman with a little tough push here. What do you like here, James? You coming two rails out here toward the one ball? If he's going to... I think he's frozen on the back side of this. Mm-hmm. <laughs> this is for the break, right? Yeah. Why wouldn't you push? Maybe he doesn't think there's a good opportunity here. Two, four, six, eight. There's two balls down, so maybe nah, he's pushing a ball on a ball or something. So why? I must have missed a shot. Though. Yeah, we, we had to miss one because he wouldn't have just swung at that ball. All right. Bo can cut this in and go back and forth with yeah. two ball. Yes, he can. Yeah, I like how uh, Brian hits this ball. Where he can roll this too. Yeah, spin, spin yeah. It on the side I, I was going to say um, that Brian Park's little kill stroke. Rocket too. Rocket kills that ball really well. Yes, he kind of, kind of overhit it because yeah, you kind of want to stay under exactly. You want to slide over. Yeah, then you stay under the three to get back to the four easier. (laughs) 
Tell us what you really think. time on this shot maybe got fired up am i was <laughs> gonna give him weight speech huh no he's he's actually taking his time because he got yeah. a bad angle to get back to that fire yeah yeah so he's, he's got to work it out <laughs> a little bit i like the working out that's why i learned a lot when i watch these guys correct their mistakes you know what i mean see that's what he was trying to avoid mm -hmm. but he got, got right, good on it. He got it right Seeds at rack, we got uh, eight, seven, two. Seven, two, my brother. I'd like to thank the official Q sponsor of the Mez West 8 Tour, Mez Q's. Check them out at mezq's.com. <laughs> Buy your glue on the streets, or yeah. is, it, is it free? Yes, it is, because I sniff it a lot. <laughs> but <laughs> what I'm saying is that, you know, sometimes to win, you get you got to start over. Because, because let, let's just... It's actually, I mean... Yes, let's just say, like, let's put Oscar. Comes, let's put Oscar in there. Yeah, let's put Oscar that's, in there, that's right? pretty strong. We'll put too. Oscar in there, right? Let's just say our error, the beautiful error of pool that we enjoyed with Rocket... Johnny Archer, Earl Strickland, Varner, all our U.S. champions. That era is over. Ship it. It's over. Their era is over. So if we're going to ever beat these Europeans, we need to start the new regime. It's like football. Your football team ain't going to win all the time. You need new players. You need new blood. You do. Yeah, but football players get beat up in their bones and all that other stuff. <laughs> No, I understand. We should have an on the wire. You take your young goods. Yeah. I'll take Johnny, Rodney. Oh, Earl, that's awesome. Let's do it. Earl. That's beautiful. Uh, we'll do that. I'm going to set that up. <laughs> We're going to do that. That's awesome. I love that. Yeah, you take your young yes. goods and I'll take my season. What a backs. great idea. What a great idea. You know what? I'm going to make that happen. <laughs> We're going to call it the H&H &H Cup. H and H Cup. Yeah, H and H Cup. Yeah, I love Dennis Hatch too. Yeah, Dennis will be one of my old guys. Yeah, he's an ex Moscone Cup. Moscone Cup player, yes. spark plug, MVP monster. So I got Rodney, Earl, oh, man, Johnny, Dennis. Can I call Oscar an old guy? No, Oscar's on my. He's on my side. No. Yes, he is. No. Yes, he is. Oscar's on my team. My, my team won't do too bad, though. I can use Shane and Corey, though. Shane or Corey. 
Shane's an old guy. Shane's an old guy? No, no, no. Shane's still a young guy. No, no. you can't claim him. Yeah, no, Shane. Claim him. I got Shane. He's Shane's on our team. No, you can't have okay. him because he's not young enough to be a young guy. He's not okay. old enough to be a All right, guy. so he's off the books. And you can't have Corey neither. <laughs> Corey's like 45. <laughs> oh, snap. All right, bow run game. Somebody give me a fifth out there. I'm drawing a blank. I got Rodney, Dennis, Earl, Johnny. I need a fifth. Give me a fifth, somebody. <laughs> Jeremy Jones. Double J. <laughs> I helped you out there. <laughs> All right, uh, Mr. Rodney, and looking, looking pretty smooth. Looking pretty smooth, right? right? I think you did fire him up. I might have fired him up. I might have fired him up. Fire him up. <laughs> He's in there over there talking about me on the stream. I can't show my tail here now. Right, right. Dead perfect on this five ball. Yes, just he did. Slide over for the six. Yeah. Nice little shot. That's there. a good shot there. Yeah. He got perfect on that five. Question is, did he get perfect on the six? Get back to the seven. Do I see a little bit of bow strokeness here? A little stroker. Right past the nine. Bow strokeness coming up. Got dip, dip, dab between the nine, right right? between the nine and ten. Oh, he came on top of it. Yeah, see, he wanted to come in mm -hmm. between the nine and ten. Yep, that's what I said. Frosty. The freezer, yes. Oh yeah, oh, that's, that's, that's my one. fifth right there. Yeah, that's There's my team. Ooh, that's nasty. Oh no, that's my team right that's there. That's a good team. That's Rodney, a good team. Earl, oh. Johnny, Dennis, and Scott Frost. Uh, so SVB, Oscar, Skyler. No, 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 no. We ruled out SVB. Oh no, SVB, no SVB. I got. I don't Oscar. think you have Oscar. He's he, Oscar he's now? no, he's not a young guy no more. Okay. You said young guns. Okay, so I'll, I'll, I'll cover my shuffle. You brought up Chris guys. Robinson, yeah, Skyler, I'll take Justin. Shuffle, yeah. Shuff. Shuff. Uh, um, shuff it. Landon Shuff it. Shuff it. Yeah. Landon Shuff it. I'm yeah. sorry. Um, I yeah. forgot. I got my gun. I'll stick because with my You said young guns. Yeah. I'm taking the fence. Okay. That's true. We, we get weight. No, you don't get weight. <laughs> you just gave that big little speech about the up and coming right. old guys this, old guys that. That's well, right. we play even. Okay. Y'all got that. Y'all got action. Good shot here for Mr. Redman. My old guys don't even play pool anymore. They just pocket balls by memory. <laughs> They've been playing so long, they remember everything. <laughs> this is true. Bo's giving Redman some air here. Just to clarify while we're rule, why we're ruling SVB out. He is no longer a young gun, but he can't be considered an old guy yet. Yeah. So he is a neutral guy. Exactly, right? All right, Damien gets one. All right, seven, three. We got action. I'd like to thank our sponsor, Tony Rodriguez of Remax Gold Coast Realtors. If you're looking for a realty, check him out. And, uh, you know, the one thing I do appreciate from the chat room and being here in this position to be able to talk about the Moscone Cup is that I know we are all passionate and we all want the USA to do better and uh, that's the basic of my conversation so thank you for having this conversation with me I appreciate it
All right, Damon Brevin using breaks the balls really well. He put a little something on that, gets the four to drop. Well, he's had an open shot, yeah. but he's elevated over the three ball to right. try to cut this in. It's not super clean. stroke so he came at the ball a little goofy. Yeah. You have to be, you know, it pulled a, a very tricky game, man. I don't think he's given Bo a shot. The one that'll go by the eight, I don't, I don't believe. Yeah. We'll see. Yeah. You rolling up on the eight or something here? Yeah. Let's just say they don't want to change. They don't. Not that they don't want to. Let's just say there's right. argument of changing the game to take right. ball and the Moscone Cup. Right. At that level, you should still play nine ball, ten ball rules. Yeah. Yeah. I agree. If you don't want to play ten ball because it's televised, you want to speed of the game, you know, don't, all that stuff. No slop. No slop. Just exactly. play nine ball, ten ball rules. No they're, golden They're the rates. best professionals in the world. They exactly. represent the, the country. Take away the slop. I got you. I mean, you can't take away that that ball Mark Gray hit down the rail in the second diamond and went in, but <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Ball with the cross bank here on the one, looking to shape up the two, Mr. Harris. Ah, he's kind of playing a two way here. Uh huh. Yeah, he's gonna play a two way. Huh. Are you are you smoking? <laughs> oh man, I'm gonna wow. get off this soapbox. You better hit the rewind button. <laughs> wow. You better hit the rewind button. Did that comment just come up. No. <laughs> <laughs> I hear, I hear I bought one right off the top of my head. The the Tim or the what was it? The ball the Darren Appleton double rail exactly. off the of pocket and they ran out from there. Well this is one. Yeah, the Alban Ocean. Yes. There's a ton of <laughs> ton of BS shots. <laughs> and again at that level, that one slot ball, it, it gave you the rack. Yeah, you guys obviously obviously didn't watch the Moscone Cup. Obviously, and don't talk to me because that was my job. I was on it. did with that uh, one ball. Did he mm -hmm. cross back that? Yes, he did. Table? Yeah. He did? Yeah. The two-way. <laughs> exactly. Neil's fine. They all, and they and they slopped those balls in at crucial moments. Oh, yeah. Moments. Big, big moments. Crucial moments that changed the momentum. So, yeah, you need to tune in to Moscone yeah. 2016. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Not 2006 or whatever you saw that wasn't slopped in. And he's still watching black and white. <laughs> <laughs> instead of instead of 4K, he, he got he got a 401K. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, exactly. We're not saying that. I'm just saying that luck did play a factor. No, yeah, there's not saying. a doubt. Yeah. USA did not. Yeah, they, they didn't show up. They didn't. Yeah, but <laughs> the 
fade them rolls. Oh man. <laughs> Phil and Lee Red. Table five. Phil and Lee. Table five. Lee goes to eight. Phil goes to seven. Phil gets your right. Himself on the hill here at eight to three. Yeah. You know. Picking up his level of play. It's not anywhere near where it's supposed to be, but it's all right. I'd like to thank the official rack sponsor of the Mets West State Tour, the Turtle Rack. <coughs> Available in groups of two. Order from the Mets West State Tour online. <laughs> you gotta get this started though before my, my my old guys are in old folks' homes though. For sure, let's try, I'm gonna try to get it <laughs> popping this year. <laughs> Johnny and, and Earl and uh, Rodney and Walker is over here at the mm -hmm. table talking about I told I, you so. And, and you know I, I love them guys. <laughs> Johnny, monster man, my favorite player ever, Johnny Archer. Oh yeah. Three time player of the decade. That guy's a, that guy's a monster. Keep talking about my team, I like that. That's okay, I ain't said y'all was gonna win. <laughs> okay. Hey, Bo, Derek Carlson said he likes your pink horn. <laughs> I'm sorry. I forgot who was in the match. With the red men on the table. Yeah. It must be early because I'm, I'm <laughs> tripping, just talking in the back. Just don't. Just stick hey. his head around the booth to yell <laughs> while Damon's down on a bowl. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. That'll be the last mistake of the day. Ra is now awake. Exactly. I'm awake now. <laughs> Actually, I agree with that. We, we keep getting beat by guys that play on snooker tables. Exactly. Ten footers, hell, play on twelve footers. Yeah. Let's play outside in the grass. <laughs> Do something. Use <laughs> regular balls on a snooker table. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Play Chinese day ball. Do something. These guys are like playing on bar boss because all they play is, is <laughs> snooker. Come to the Moscow and they come, they're like, oh, these tables are tiny. Pockets are huge. <laughs> you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to grab John Schmidt and I'm going to tell him to explain you about Moscone Cup. See how you like it. See who the hell who like it. They do. Oh. See how I look around and see Damon at the ball? I'm not going to yell out yet. I'm just like, see. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. You know I gotta get you. That was yeah, a rookie. That move. was good. I gotta get, yeah, you. Was I gotta get you. That's yeah. a straight rookie move. Yeah, that, that is. You. I agree. You know I can't let that go. I agree. <laughs> I'll yeah. wait till the game. Yeah, wait till we yeah. It's a good shot by Damon right there. One rail down. Damon, two rails. But. Juicing it up now. Got underneath it too. Dangerous. Uh, 
Yeah, we got a little uh -huh. zoom on top of that there. Yeah. It's a kind of a touchy back cut too. He's got a back cut on the side, but we'll see what route he picks to get to the 10. Right yes, there. it was. He actually. <laughs> oh, this chatter was brutal. I love it, man. This chatter was brutal. I love it. This guy's rock out there. Nice out. Brutal chatter. Nice out. Hey, Damien, I'm sorry I yelled out, bro. I'm arguing, arguing in the chat room. Good out. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'd like to thank West State Beer Supply for all they do for the Mass West State. Two of the best products at the best prices. Make sure you stay tuned. I'll be running a commercial for them soon. Damien Redman gets up to the table, handles his job. Run again, sits on the hill. John, who wants to interview you? We could do it after the thing. No, we're just, uh, they, we're talking about Moscone Cup and all these things, why they don't win. I said, well, I'm going to ask a pro player what he thinks. Because they're telling me all their little, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, see, exactly. That's why Schmitty said, never mind. <laughs> he said, I ain't got time for that. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. I know that guy. <laughs> Now whose phone is ringing? It's by the counter. Uh -oh. All right, Damien with a choice here because this is uh, spread out, man. We got eight four. Damien hanging around. You know what I mean? Don't let me. Oh, he pushed out, but then he didn't low enough to make this yeah. ball safe. Runny. No, 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 he, Oscar makes his ball. With that, cut, cuts it in with outside, right? Yes. Ronnie does The tough that part too. is controlling the cue ball, get it back down. Absolutely. So you can't just spin this ball. Yeah. You still got to control it. Yeah. And that's what he's doing. Real first spinner of the winner. That's his last name. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I'm joking. I think Bo changed his mind. He called it, and then he just played a little thin safety. It's a good shot. He talked himself out of yeah. it. Yeah. Talked himself jumping off that window. Oh, All right, Damien, I'm going to have to hit another good safety here. Called the five. Man. Maybe he didn't. <laughs> Either way, he's shooting. Whether yeah, he called he, the five or didn't yeah, call the five, he's shooting the five. It doesn't ball. matter. Yeah, because he's. Stick him. That is a brutal roll. Well, as my friend James Hatch would say, nuts a thing as a roll, he shot that ball there. driving the car and you crash it's your fault no unless somebody hits you with their truck <clears throat> oh 
Oh, oh, he almost got Yeah, that, that, would, that would have been, that would have been super sexy. Give me a tour. All right, around the room, that's what we got. Brian Parks and Oscar Dominguez tied up three apiece. Curtis Parch up 6-3 over Ken Johnson. Marcos Rodriguez up 1-0 over Pops Ernesto. Fox Garcia on the hill, 8-6 over Chino Reyes. Lee Brett and Phil Prentice tied at two apiece. Nice. Yeah. Good times. Bo can close this out here. Close out. Oh, overhit the two. Look at this. He overhit ball and hit. <coughs> Because <coughs> he rusty. That's what you lose. You lose that touch, man. You don't lose this shot making, but he lose that touch. You can't argue that he's Moscone Cup ready and say he's rusty no, in the same No, I, no, I didn't say he was Moscone Cup ready. I said he can. Gotcha. Absolutely, he can get ready. No and word. to back cut this and kill the cue ball. Yeah. But he's not going to get there. Wow. The juicy. Damon's gonna cut this ball and clip the nine. Boy, this is a shot here if he comes with this. He's gotta cut this two ball, clip the nine, go in between the seven, eight, two rails around the table. Can can you punch the two in the face and come off the Or nine? you can punch the two and, in the and face just, and draw off yeah, the nine, yes. Right? That's what he's doing. He says screw that around the table stuff. Oh, he did go through it. He went through it? Yes, he went through it. Ooh, nice. That shot of the day. Wow, what a shot that was. That shot of the day was like remote control. And he missed the it. clip on the nine. He just went through the <laughs> turn eight. That's insane. Too so good. No, no, not after coming with that heat that he just did. That was such a great shot. Man. I think he just put top right on it instead of just spinning it. Somebody, please <laughs> ask him. Please ask him. <laughs> there it is. You have a question. <laughs> All right, David concedes the last game with Bo Rennigan. Uh, moves All on. right. Bo Rennigan escapes. <laughs> 